We are done creating our page, but many potential customers will land on it via their smartphones or tablets. So let's see how we can tweak it for mobile. I'll go ahead and enter the mobile responsive mode and tweak it a bit. I'll open the navigator as well, so we get a clear overview of all our sections. I'll double click the first section in the navigator and name it Hero Section. When clicking on the arrow, we can see that it contains one column, and clicking again reveals all the widgets in it. I'll select the heading and change the size to 45 pixels. As you can see, there are responsive handles indicating the screen sizes you're editing for. The 45 pixels will be applied to mobiles only. Next, I'll select the text editor widget and in advanced, unlink the padding values and change the left and right to 10% each. Again, these values are mobile specific. Let's move on to the second section. I'll name it flower section. In the advanced tab, I'll first unlink the padding values and then give it some top and bottom padding to create some space. Next, select the Our Flowers heading and change its size to 45 pixels. Then click the Text Editor widget and in Advanced, unlink the padding values and change the left and right to 10% each. I'll also add 10% padding to the top of the Text Editor widget above the button over here. Okay, great. Lastly, let's tweak the third section for mobile as well. In the navigator, I'll name it contact section. I'll change the phone number size to 35 pixels. And in the section settings under advanced, unlink the padding and add 80 pixels to the top and bottom. There are some other responsive settings you can try out here as well, such as reversing columns for mobile and tablet. I'll go ahead and add a new column so you can see how it works. I'll drag an image widget into it and choose this nice flower. Now, back in the section's advanced settings, under responsive, if I reverse the columns for mobile, the image will show first. We can also hide entire sections as well as columns. And this can be done for all responsive modes, like you see here. I'll go ahead and delete this column, since we won't be needing it for our landing page. Another cool way to tweak your designs for mobile is by using the column width feature. I'll go back to the flower section and click on the first column in the inner section. Then under Layout, set a custom column width. I'll go for 50%, so it takes up half of the width. I'll do the same for the second column. As you can see, we can fully control this for mobile, tablets, and desktop. I'll go ahead and delete the values so they're back to what I had before. 